So Mark, what are your thoughts on contractors uh, making the choice in marketing or advertising in traditional media channels uh, versus social? Well, the, the challenge there is they both can work. With traditional media, you're going to have a salesman who's going to sell you newspaper ads, radio, or a billboard perhaps. They'll come and present to you and convince you of or make a great sales presentation about why you should use their media. The first challenge is with a lot of these digital and social media, there is no salesman going to come call on you. You have to go, I wonder if I should do this. You have to do the, the work. You have to almost sell yourself on it. And what I tell people is to find somebody that, that you trust, that has a little bit of knowledge, and ask them to show you how digital or social media advertising might work. And then take a look at it and make the decision yourself. Maybe traditional is still good for you. What I uh, don't like is people who just keep doing the same thing every year because that's what they've done that they don't step back and say, okay, I, every year I buy a billboard, every year I buy this radio campaign, so I keep doing it. I, I really encourage them, just stop a minute and say, okay, what if I did some of these other mediums and I spent the same amount of money, do I think I would get a better result? I certainly would reach a different audience. Now there's a thing to think about with traditional, if you've always done the same thing, chances are the same people see your ad in traditional media and if all of a sudden you're showing up in a different media, there's a different group of customers in your market that haven't maybe seen you before. That's yeah, another thing to keep that's a in great mind. point. Uh, whether it's traditional or social, there's certainly a co uh, cost and time investment in that. How, do, how does the professional know whether they're getting the return from that investment? Well, too many companies uh, uh, run advertising simply because they think they should. So they, they run advertising and they really don't have a measure of success. <laughs> Maybe like, don't I look good on that billboard or did you hear my radio commercial? And they're, they're, in today's world, you should be measuring everything you do. We're not used to doing that with traditional advertising. The small business person isn't used to measuring. I spent this much money. How many inquiries did I get? How many of those turned into a sale for how many dollars? Um, digital media makes that a lot easier because you can see how many people came to your website, how many people uh, uh, contacted you by email or phone to, with a question or an inquiry, where it's harder maybe sometimes with traditional media to, to measure that. You may not, maybe the billboard did get somebody to call you, but you don't know that that's where it came from. Is a challenge with traditional media. Yeah, which I think is another great reason why uh, trying some of the digital media marketing is uh, you, 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 you can actually measure some of the return from that. So. Well, and you can also control it. You can spend $10 a day and you can say, I want to stop spending. Where many other media, it's like you're making a bigger commitment and you're, you're, you're kind of all in or not. Where with digital, you can make changes every day. Turn it on, turn it off. It, that, that's some of the other benefits of it.